So Peter, why did you find this so fascinating, what Jeannie was just talking about? Well, I've, I've always heard about Bootstrap and I've used it a little bit and I've heard lots of good things about Foundation and I'm really excited to have Jeannie here to talk about what the differences are and maybe I should be using Foundation. All right, Jeannie, why should you be using Foundation? That is a great question, Peter and David. Um, I think that, like I said before, Foundation and Bootstrap are sort of different sides of the same coin. Um, they are both very powerful and um, wonderful frameworks, but they just sort of serve different purposes. Uh, when I was first starting to develop things, I really enjoyed using Bootstrap because you know I was really into just coding the interaction of a page rather than really thinking about the design of a page. Um, and in that case, Bootstrap is really great to use just something that will make it like just the nice finishing touch on a otherwise blank HTML page. Um, Foundation, I think, for me, I enjoy using it more because you are sort of forced to put a little more thought into the design of it. And that's really sort of what Zurb is about, is this idea of progressive design, where you sort of iterate over design again and again. And instead of having this sort of like relay race baton handoff, you have this idea of um, co-developing both the interaction um, on the front end engineering side, as well as the visual part of the design, and really trying to marry those two together instead of having one compensate for the other. Um, so. So, so what has that meant for you in terms of develop, development, that you have that ability for sort of design and development to sort of coexist, I guess, maybe the best way to explain it? Yeah, no, totally. Uh, for me, I think it's really important to communicate with the visual aspect of it because sometimes you get carried away with making something look very, very beautiful, but the interaction doesn't really make sense, or vice versa, where you're really focused on making a really good experience in terms of the interaction, but the... Um, visual part doesn't end up quite so well. Uh, I think the reason why Foundation lends itself well to that sort of methodology is because, um, so Bootstrap, I sort of view as kind of like when you go to the grocery store and you get that sort of like pre-made frosting. Um, and not to say that you can't put your extra stuff in that frosting or you like take some frosting out of it and I dilute it. Um, but it's still kind of like you get what you get out of the box. Whereas for me, foundation is a bit more like making frosting from scratch. So you can really think about the ingredients that you want to put in. Um, how is this going to look on the cake? Things like that. And uh, that's sort of like editable as you sort of develop. Um, and that really lends itself well to working side by side with designers because uh, at any point, Foundation has a lot of different configurations and a lot of different settings that you can sort of hook into and extend to really make something your own um, rather than just kind of like getting it's it's sort of like having like like pre-made guacamole versus like a starter kit for guacamole so th you have a lot of analogies to food and are you have you had lunch yet I have had lunch. I just, I have a lot of feelings about food <laughs> that tend to come across in a lot of my conversations. So, Peter, is this a satisfying answer for you? Yeah, I feel much better now. Thank, thank you so much for that explanation. Are you going to have guacamole or, or frosting at this point? I'm going to go get a hamburger. <laughs>